Yeah, man, you heard. Make sure y'all follow me on that Twitter. I started a new Twitter page, man. I got to step my Twitter game up. You heard. Make sure you follow me at Gen Pop Laz. You know what I mean? Send me a tweet. Let me know you rep that Gen Pop. You feel me? About to start that retweet gang. You heard? Retweet gang in the building. And that's a fact. But yeah, man, Brooklyn Legacy. Coney Island Chronicles, baby. You heard we going in. I got all type of fire on the way. That's a fact. Z-Man, Suicide Polo with the Ski Man running around the hood like He-Man. You heard, make sure you tune in. Brooklyn Legacy vibes. You heard, I dropped about five, six new episodes in the last few days, man. Make sure you go check those. You feel me? Make sure you go to that new and recent episode playlist so that you don't miss no episodes at all. You feel me? Because every episode I drop is on that playlist. That's a fact. It's over 200 episodes on there for you to watch just on that playlist alone. If you want some promotion on this YouTube channel for your music, for your videos, for your channel, for your brand, whatever it is you're trying to push, hit me up. You heard? If you love what I'm doing on this channel and you feel like I'm feeding the streets that filet mignon, feel free to hit that cash app. You heard? Niggas is outside right now. I can only really guarantee you. I think he said spliff a fair one. Other than that, you know what I mean, it's up. Yo, we can hear a mouse piss on Kyle, lad. Niggas is getting dressed. We didn't know what the fuck was outside. Somebody's like, gonna look out the window. He's gonna look out the window. So it's like a thousand niggas outside and shit, girls. That, like, I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, we don't know. We ain't get a tight wing. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Like, everybody's outside the bus stop. Like, about Coney Island either without talking about Lincoln. So Yeah, I almost went to Lincoln, man, and, and I'm glad I ain't get accepted to that shit because I ain't know that shit was a Coney Island school like that. I just heard it was a good basketball school, so I tried to go to that shit. Luckily I ain't get accepted, niggas. I heard all type of stories about Lincoln. I was trying to go I was from downtown and I, I moved to Flatbush, so I was trying to go to like schools in Manhattan, Norman Thomas, Graphic, all that. I didn't know nothing about Lincoln really. You know what I mean? So when they sent me there, I'm like, what the fuck is Lincoln? Like I knew the Coney Island from the rides, like Brighton Beach, that area. You couldn't tell me that wasn't Coney Island, you feel me? But when I got out there, this is like ninety. You know, that's when I realized like, oh shit, you no know, sports, you know what I'm saying? I played ball. But then I realized, oh, it's mad peas back here. It's like the, kind of like the far rock away, if you will, of, of, of Brooklyn type. Like, you know what I mean? This is over here, just Dolo, just doing them, getting a lot of money out there. That's why I like the whole Moloch. I hear the Moloch stories. I hear, I hear dudes talking. I hope dudes come out because Coney Island got a lot of, a lot of fucking history, man, in the streets, all to the, to the streets. There was a lot of money in Coney Island. And niggas had a lot of fight in Coney Island. You know what I mean? So... You know, I got put on the Coney Island going to the fold by Raheem on 23rd. So I, I spent a lot of time on 23rd, you know what I'm saying? A lot of girls in Coney Island. And um, it's just a lot of fights, bro. I always remember just a lot of fights. I remember being in there and, um, you know, just quick fights in the hallway. Like, it, it was almost like the full building in Coney Island had the house. You know what I'm saying? It was the house type shit. And he ran a lot of dudes out. But in the 90s, when my crew came through, it was like we all kind of linked up Dolo from East New York from the 90s, from Flatbush, which was probably about 10 of us. And we made a lot of good alliances and shit, made a lot of good brothers, but it didn't come without those fights. You know, I remember early championship, I want to say like 91, I remember going with my man Doug and a couple of dudes to the game. After the game, I think it was South Shore they played. Don't quote me on the year. And um, dudes just started knocking dudes out. That's when I heard the flavor unit. Like it was like, Yo, where you from? What's the what's the flavor or something like that? Some real decept type shit. And, like knocking niggas out in the garden. I'm like, oh shit, oh, man. Rag, there's a couple of dudes. Can't think of a lot of dudes. Ham was there. There's a couple of dudes off the top. I can't really remember everybody that was there because they was all a little older than me at that time. But that's when I was like, oh, these niggas are cool now. He got extreme wild. And, um, you know, as time went on, me, like I said, a lot of good alliances, a lot of fights, a lot of dice games. You know, I remember big dice games with, with Marbury in the bathroom with security. 
you know what I'm saying? When we need tears to, to, to security, they bring us to the teacher's bathroom, and you know, when son got bank, bank is money, so it's whatever. We trying to get son to lunchtime, and that's all we was doing with the niggas was gambling. Every day was trying to get niggas to go to the bathroom and gamble. It was a scene in there. It was definitely a scene. But as time went on, we had our little proof. And everybody used to say, oh, cross town this, cross town that. It was everything was cross town, but we was all scattered out. And so, you know, slowly but surely, we just was kind of like, you know, one little crew in there, cross town crew. And one night we was getting fucked up, and we beat me and my man. It was me, our man, and my man Tricks. Our man is from the 50s, Tricks is from the 90s. We was just beating each other up. Like, yo, tomorrow we're going to go to school, and we're going to initiate everybody else from cross town. And this is going to be our crew, right? We come to school the next day, train ride back home, Q train. We start jumping on each other. Me, World. Tommy, Tiz, Spliff, the whole crew was there. Everybody was there. We just start jumping on each other one by one. It turned into one on one, two on one. Next thing you know, it was ten. We just jumping on each other, jumping on each other. So it was this one nigga that was there. I guess we thought he was with us. I don't know. He used to be in the fifties. I, I think his name was Alex. And we jumped on this nigga. He wasn't. He wasn't really too fond of this shit. You know what I'm saying? He, he swung on my man Tommy. Boom, caught him. I me mean, being there, you know, diplomatic dude. I'm like, yo, chill, chill, your money is out bad, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We go about our business. But man, world, he ain't like that shit. World's from Staten and shit. World's a good nigga, free world and shit. Niggas in Clinton right now. World went back and just snuffed the nigga. Boom! I'm like, yo, son, chill, you wild and son. Like, this nigga, yo, this nigga don't really want no smoke. It's all of us. It's just him. I break it up again. King's Highway come, we getting off. Everybody kind of got off there. The nigga, the nigga Tommy walked by the original one he swung on. He kind of walked by and swung on the nigga again. Boom. Hits the nigga. I'm like, yeah, God, get this nigga the fair one and shit. Get off the train. That's a big thing and shit. The nigga, I'm like, get this nigga the fair one. So we know he's from the round. You know, he's from Cross Town with us. Get off. The nigga goes in his book bag. I don't know. To this day, I don't know the nigga, what he was going in that book bag for, what he thought he was. But out of nowhere, the nigga Tiz just scoops the nigga, slams the nigga on the game. Boom. I don't really condone the, the jumping shit, last. Like, I, I'm big on fighting. I grew up fighting. We grew up fighting. I know a lot of niggas talk to shooting shit. I know a lot of niggas nowadays just pull their gun. But we fought. And this is one of the few times we really jumped the nigga and kind of regretted the shit. And we slammed the nigga. <laughs> These niggas beat the nigga. Shorty just holding us down. They fucking the nigga up. They let the nigga go, we catch the nigga, we beat the nigga down. Stairs was involved, it was a big scene, right? Nigga goes, next day comes, I don't get the memo that niggas ain't coming to school. So I'm like, what the fuck? Mind you, this is a time where we cool with mad people. Like, this is my bros, man. I could go on the list, my man Ellis, Button. Like, I could go down the line, Gerald, Arnie, like, my dudes. Like, you made niggas in Coney Island and shit. So this is a time, it's kind of... You know, we just think it's a cross town thing. Come to find out this nigga got a cousin in Coney Island, like the pink building. You know, big shout out to my man Quentin and all the niggas from over there, but I guess somehow these niggas had a proof. I come to school the next day, nothing don't really happen. I've I been school with Dolo. I'm kind of paranoid now because my whole team in here, me and my man Tricks, I think, was the only ones that came through. I think we went to the boardwalk with some shorties. We drank, we smoked, and we played school too tough. Anything nothing up. We walking around school with our chest out. Other little fights going on. Like I said, dice games, all type of shit. We all play sports. So we used to work out after school. After school, bro, like two weeks later, this shit kind of getting dark type. It's late. We working out. My man Earl come in and shit. I think Earl was like Sea Park. He was somewhere down the way somewhere. He like, yo, son. He was like, yo, son. Um, niggas is outside right now. And I can only really guarantee you. I think he said spliff a fair one. Other than that, you know what I mean? It's up. I don't like so, you know, we can't really do that, you know what I'm saying? So, so it's with my dudes, it's with me type shit. Yo, we can hear a mouse piss on Kyle. Like, niggas is getting dressed. We didn't know what the fuck was outside, but it's late. So it's mind blowing to us. Like, what the fuck is going on? It's like five o'clock, six o'clock. So we got to look out the window. We're going to look out the window. So it's like a thousand niggas outside and shit, girls. That, like, I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, we don't know. We ain't get a kite. We ain't get. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Like, everybody's outside the bus stop. Like, you know, Lincoln, it's on Ocean Parkway. They got the, the service lane and they got the main street. So the bus stop going to Coney Island was right in front of the school by the service lane. But, like, literally, it was like at least 50, 60 people. 
like mixed crowd, like straggling. People that wanted to see something go down. Girls, I guess the dudes who we had come back. You know, a couple of niggas we had smoke with in between time. You know, light like shit. You know what I mean? Niggas, like I said, I think it was really a respect thing. And it, I'm just speaking about a lot of how a lot of us got. I had to get our respect and come here, and it didn't come easy. And when we went to the went to the window. We said, "Yeah, we gonna do." <laughs> the world like we gotta go to the bus stop and just start swinging on these niggas. I'm like, nah, son, we gotta, we gotta be strategic, start making a move towards the train and see if we can get the squad away in between, and then at least we can bounce if we gotta bounce. So all right, that's what we do. We get outside, mind you, it's like, I won't say it's like eight of us, probably like five fighters, bone five. We gonna fight, you know? That's really all you need. We get outside, we start walking towards the train. The whole crowd is behind us, <laughs> like a swarm of bees and shit. We ain't making too far with that shit, because we like, we can't really have all these people walking behind us. So we stopped. There's like a little circle kind of built up, and all that shit go. And it was like, yo, yo, Sean, point your mouth, son. Yo, get it. Niggas is yelling this shit. Like, damn, can't really see no faces. That's like, yo, because like, yo, what the fuck all these people come from? Like, who the fuck are these people? It wasn't like people from the school, so I didn't even have like my other, you know what I mean, other ambassadors in the mix. I did have my man Earl, and I did have my man Vic, and Vic actually went pro, Vic played football, and um, Vic was there, and Vic was like, yo, I got y'all, Earl was like, yo, son, I got you, and Vic was like 6'5", and shit, he went, he wound up playing in the league for years, and shit, offensive line, and shit, we had like, that type of thing out there, but that was really it, and we stopped, they like, yo, son, who did he point him out, he walked around the circle once, he walked around the circle twice, one of those, he tried to sleep my man. They started scrapping. As soon as they start scrapping, some niggas jump in. My man's jumping. I try to, you know, I'm still trying to keep the order because this is crazy out here. This is about to get stupid. I pull, uh, who I pull? I pull tears off. I don't know how I grab tears first and then split while I'm shaking with one of them dudes, Claudio. I don't remember the dude name, but, um, they wind up shaking, bro. It's like in the street, up and down. Niggas is tossing niggas off. Stragglers is trying to jump in. Vic is throwing niggas off. Earl is in the mix. It was a fucking melee. Tommy is shaking with the dude that initially snuck him. It was like a fucking all out rumble on Ocean Park with that day. And like cars pulled up. That was the crazy part to us because it was like all of a sudden cars pull up. Niggas is jumping out of cars, bitch. Who are these cool niggas with cars? Niggas is crazy. You hear chicks yelling out names, telling niggas to stop. I'm like, stop what? In my head, you know, in the middle of a, a rumble. It's like, what are we listening to? Like, all of a sudden, I ain't going to hold you, bro. I ain't never in my life been so happy to see police, my G. Yo, fucking police. Can't as soon as these niggas pull up car doors, it's flying open. Like, I'm here, stop, stop, no, don't do it. I'm like, what the fuck you mean, don't do it? And I hear, boop, boop. Everybody scrambling. We fight, yo. It was crazy, bro. And then and we held it down, they held it down. And niggas was back in the fucking building. Dice games. It was like, almost like, you know, people say you had to grind your bones. Like, we really had to grind our bones in Coney Island. And then it was scraps we had where my niggas in Coney Island actually held me down. Like, it was, you know what I'm saying? I remember fighting with Russians, big Russians at that, and nobody was, like, moving. Everybody was like, we ain't fucking with this nigga. This nigga, mm-hmm. oh. It was Russian kids in Lincoln, too? It was mad Russians. Like, it was, because remember Brighton Beach is right there, so we had Grady, like, right there, but Grady was mad people, and I was all dudes, but it was mad Russians right there in, like, Trump Village, War bass, all that shit. You're gonna see that shit on the map. Like, all the first buildings right around Lincoln is Brighton, and all that's Russian. So it was like a blizzard. You know, it was probably like 92, 93. You know, we playing football. I want to chip for Lincoln, by the way. I throw that in there, because when I say we, I really put in for Lincoln all around the streets, all air on the We want to chip there. Um, so, nigga, it was a blizzard. No cars moving, no nothing. My stupid ass to go chase one of these Russian niggas down. I ain't even chase them down blindside. You, like them niggas be thugging? They was thugging in there or niggas was Nah, to... they was, they was big and they wasn't having it. So it wasn't that they was thugging it, but they was definitely big and they wasn't having it. So we, you know, we had a little scares. We used to do the bump and run, digging niggas' pockets, all type of, in the hallways, but some of them would fight back. So it wasn't nothing, it wouldn't be nothing to, you know, to find it. Because remember, we had a wrestling team too. So a lot of them niggas was on that type of time. 
And that's where I kind of ran into this day. You know what I'm saying? I thought, I thought it was going to be funny because we was all stuck at these bus stops because of the snow. Thousand niggas on one side, thousand niggas on the other side. The middle was empty. This nigga crossing. Nigga, I came out of nowhere like Lawrence Taylor, nigga, and just killed this nigga. Wrong. Tore this nigga up. I jump up. Everybody laughing. Ah, this nigga killed this nigga. Ah. What you mean? You snuffed them or you tackled them? I tackled them like Lawrence Taylor, nigga, out of nowhere. Remember, it's snowing outside, so it wasn't like it was the street. It was regular, but I definitely put my all into it, you know what I'm saying? And I could hit, too, so, you know what I mean? I thought it was funny. I'm laughing, my dog. Everybody laughs. I got my back turned. How your man caught me back, though? Boom! Oh, I'm on the floor, man. I can't get up now. Uh, we fighting by throwing hands, but I can't really get my foot. And he got his hands with him, and they on... They one of these niggas, they studying, like you said, like they, they like, words what you want, boom, they try to, out of nowhere, my Coney Island niggas, my, I think it was Lonzo and Chad, they come out of there, we're 2007, we fighting, oh, it's three of us against like four of them, my niggas is on the side shaking their head like, this nigga's stupid, man. this nigga always in some shit, the shorty fell in front of the bus, it was a big rumble out there, lips busted, it was blood, all that, cause of just fucking around, but it was a lot of knuckle game coming out of Coney Island. I can definitely, definitely say that. There was a lot of money coming out of Coney Island. There was some thorough niggas coming out of Coney Island. And Coney Island always embraced us. Other than the squabbles and the different little fights we had and the rivalries we had, it, it was always love. You know what I'm saying? I always got some Coney Island. My son is raised in Coney Island, so you know what I'm saying? It's always, always love in Coney Island. Word, man. I, I was locked up. My, my bro T from Coney Island, man. That's my son. I hope he alive and well right now, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, it's some good motherfuckers that come out of CI, that's a fact. But let me ask you, after that big rumble y'all had, you said you went back to school the next day and niggas left that alone? Niggas kind of left it alone. It was a couple of little, it was a couple of little touchy situations where, you know, little one-on-ones happened while I wasn't around and other niggas got in the one-on-one, but it was always... Respect, bro. Like, it was never really. I seen the ratchets come out. Cause I seen, you know, maybe the nigga sent the B team that day. I don't know, but, cause we could have definitely got flushed out. Like, we could have definitely got, it could have been like a hot night school butter, bro. We, we wouldn't have had a chance. Cause the niggas had ratchets? They, the ratchets was there. Coney Island, they had hammers. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know if nigga sent the B team. I don't know if, you know what I'm saying? If, like I said, I, 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 I place a lot of it on respect, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? People don't use that a lot now, but we had like a mutual respect. Like it was, we wasn't, they knew, come on, man. We, we was a thousand people across town. You know what I'm saying? We was a cross town mob. They, they was that name for a reason. That wasn't even a name we gave ourselves. That was a name that was given. CTM was given because we was, we was three deep in, in the 90s that led to like the whole 90s. The East New York side was four or five deep through Linden and through Starry. You know what I'm saying? Me in the bush, a couple other dudes in the bush, crazy from the Vanderveer side all the way down. So our link up was crazy. From we had all the night schools, was crazy. Sheeps had night schools, fights and rumbles in there. You know what I'm saying? A couple of gunplay shits up there every time. So them, them times are definitely crazy and shit. You gotta get somebody yo, to get your story on 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 the nigga Lydell, bro. Word. I remember the nigga went to school with the nigga. I remember the nigga wound up somehow chopping some nigga up, man. Niggas, nigga, some some nigga named Larry, I think it was and shit, man. I hope I got the name right. I think I know I got the name right. I don't know the last names with, with him, but I remember it's a big story. You look that shit up, bro. Word. Lydell Harris, my son named Chop Son up in the building. Some wild shit. I think Shorty lined them up, some crazy shit. You gotta get one of them niggas. I want them niggas to tell their story because they got a fucking story out there. You feel me? I got some official Coney Island dudes hollering at me, man. We're gonna be going in soon on this Coney Island Chronicles. Like I said, you know, when I put these series out about dudes' hoods, I don't just try to have, you know, this is just for the listeners to know. I don't try to just have like the niggas that's the most murderous gun buses and I just got random residents of that neighborhood giving stories about their life growing up out there. You feel what I'm saying? That's important because I, I always say, bro, you know, even when I shoot and stuff like that, it's like everybody got a perspective. You know what I'm saying? So when that gun go off, the two shooters had a reason why. Grandma that was sitting in front of the building, you know what she seen, you know what I'm saying? People 
grab, grab the kids. They know what they seen. Everybody got a different seat, but everybody was there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, that, that, that shit is part of the whole community now. Everybody got, got touched by that. So I always see that's important. That's why I wanted to kind of give my perspective on Coney Allen because I look at Coney Allen from the outside in and I was embraced early, bro. You know what I'm saying? Early by some, by some dudes that to this day is, I consider my bros that's some heavy hitters, you know what I'm saying? So, and I was always embraced, you know what I mean? We always had, there was always love out there, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. I heard that train ride to and from, but especially from Coney Allen trying to get back to, to, to the cross town sides of Brooklyn. I heard that train ride was treacherous. The crazy part was like, Everybody from Coney Island went one way, so they all kind of went on the bus. They didn't take the train, so going on the train was all us. So what would happen was, especially early, like in the early 90s, like 90, 91, you know, they called Grady, no lady Grady. So there was no chicks in Grady. Grady was all dudes. And at one point, I don't know where the fuck niggas was from in Grady, but we had a couple of niggas coming in from the 90s, my nigga Ty, Rumble, a couple of dudes came in later on, but at, at one point, Grady was crazy. So yeah, rest in peace, Paul himself. Rest in peace, my nigga PC. PC for my projects, he went to Grady. And I remember the Grady Bunch. Yo, it was crazy on Grady, yo. It was crazy over there. Ocean Parkway was, we used to get on, and then the next stop was Brighton. So when they get on there, Brighton, it'd be a thousand people in the last three cars of the train. We coming on with the girl, we keep, keep laugh, laugh, laugh. Yeah, they come up, fresh me, they come a thousand big niggas like, God damn, this guy. It's just, it was just always weird, this shit, man. It was always, it was always tense. It was always, that ride was definitely tense. I remember throwing snowballs one time. We was throwing snowballs. I'm always just into some shit. Those snowballs, niggas got on the train. I hit like a six five nigga. This nigga was a fucking savage. Hit this nigga right in the face and shit. Wow, from across the car. Everybody got quiet. So I'm like, nigga, who the fuck? <laughs> who do I know forget this shit? Who the fuck do snowball? Yo, nigga was like, yo, go come through and touch everybody hands, whoever. I'm like, oh my god, what the fuck did I sign up for here, Lincoln? This shit. Like nigga never really made it. He never really made it down my way. I tell you. It was, you can see my fucking heart coming through my shit. It would have been, yo, it was crazy, man. It was definitely, that train ride was definitely crazy. You know what I'm saying? The, the basketball games at Lincoln, the basketball games in Coney Island, Bro Day. So Bro Day was like a scene from a movie. Like that whole era, that whole time period for Lincoln was just crazy. For Coney Island, it was just crazy. They shot, he got, they, they, they shot, um, he got game in the school in Coney Island. It was about, the story was loosely some Coney Island shit, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just crazy, man. It was always cameras, you know what I'm saying? I, love, was I right. love that movie, man. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Real talk, you that's got game. That's Brooklyn. That was, that's a real story. Like, that's, that shit is real. Real shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I remember them times, bro. Them niggas was pushing chips out. You know what I'm saying? We was in the chip back to back. You know what I'm saying? We lost against Wagner, came back, killed Canarsi. You know what I'm saying? In brutal games. We was destroying the city that year, so You know, Lincoln was the fucking powerhouse. And gotta give credit, man. All that shit, 90% of that shit came out of Coney Island. You was playing on the basketball team, too? Nah, I played football. Oh. I won a, I won a state champ, I won a state championship in football shit. They had the 90. crazy football team and basketball team, right? Son, we was running through shit, son. Even in the, the years that niggas lost in 92 and 91 in football, it was still big, you know, late in, the, late in the playoffs and shit, but the basketball team was still every year. They went every year to the chip that I was there and then a couple of years after. So that was like, let me see, Steph was four. I, I think, I think, Bash with four. I'm pretty sure Lance with four. I think Isaiah Whitehead with four. I think all them niggas with four straight through. So that's a powerhouse, you know what I'm saying? And then them four with Steph with them. So that shit was crazy. So it was always cameras. It was always movie shit. And, and I'm telling you, people always sleep on the football team. Big up to my nigga Frankie, man. Frankie Sinclair, man. Probably one of the greatest fucking running backs to touch the ball coming out of New York City, bro. Ever. New York State, son. Every time my son touched the rock, he was out with it. 325, rushing 425, rushing. He was killing niggas, son. 55, zip. All that shit was coming out of Coney Island, son. Word. Raw talent, bro. Raw talent and shit. It was a fucking honor to fucking really bang with my niggas out there, man. For real. 
on and off the field, bro. Niggas out there give it up, bro. Hearts Alliance out there, cool down. That's real shit. I know the Chronicles is going to be kind of crazy. Cause I see there's a lot of shit going on now with hip hop and different things coming out of Coney Island. So, you know, I like to see that. Word. Yeah. That nigga Zad Judah had told me before. He said when he moved out there to Coney Island, that nigga had to fight. Yeah, I think he said he moved to a Spanish, where a bunch of Spanish motherfuckers was at. He said nigga had to fight every one of them niggas. Yeah, I believe it. Nigga had to throw hands with every one of them niggas in one day. I believe it. Before niggas accepted him. Niggas be niggas be cold hearted towards a, a cross town nigga out there. Yo, cold hearted, bro, especially if you yo, you you gotta you gonna have them you gonna have to pay your dues. You know, I wouldn't fuck with niggas on the court too tell play some friendly games of ball, there's a couple of rivalries with that, but you definitely gonna have to pay your dues on the streets and shit. And I think for with me it used to be Odd because it used to be like it's like everywhere else in Brooklyn, but really in Coney Island, niggas would see me at three in the morning. Like this nigga really heading to steal. What was that son just walked by? Y'all nigga Taj just walked by. Oh shit! Like this son, he was out. This what he was doing out here. But you know, it's always shorties out there. I always love Coney Island. The, the shorties was just out there. Like I said, it was like the like the far rock away to Brooklyn. Like they was just over there to themselves, but they was doing them. You know what I mean? So to, to get that type of love and shit, I was up, I was out there. It's crazy because Lincoln, but you know, overall Lincoln was a wild ass school, right? I I never thought so. You know what I'm saying? When we was there, it was a good was, school though. You you anybody couldn't get in Lincoln like that. I guess if you was, I guess if you live, you was if that was your zone school. See, that's what it was. It was like most of the people there was zone school kids. For me, my guidance counselor. This is like. Era me coming from the bush going to Manhattan. She, she asked my mom, I'm like, you don't let him go to Manhattan, he's gonna get involved with gangs and blah 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 blah. So I'm like, damn, she wound up putting me in there for some animal science programs. I'm like, I don't even know how to get to this school, but we did have a pool, the sports program was crazy. But that shit was crazy, son. I'm telling you, we used to have dice games with Marbury in the in the closet, son, in the in the in the teacher's like bathroom that was shut down, he used as a closet. Big dice game, niggas taking their pellets off, putting them on the floor, bank is money. I love rolling with my son, because you always gonna get a walk. Like, my, my son pockets was heavy always. He always showed love, that's my nigga. He like, you, bank, you can come in with $50 and be up like 350, 400, and then lose. And he goes, get that walk, son. No, it didn't get him, well, you ain't even come with. What he gonna give you the walk for? And we used to be in there like this. I remember breaking the fucking security guard tattoo. Anybody remember Lincoln? Remember tattoo? Tattoo was used to be in the bathroom with a hero of a Spanish nigga name. And they used to be out there retired now. You know what I'm saying? I wish the niggas well, but they used to hold us down, give us access to all type of parts of the building. The gambling used to be crazy in there, son. The gambling, niggas getting robbed outside at the stores around the corner in between Lincoln and Grady. Outside in the front, there used to be dice games all the time. She was crazy, man. She was definitely a scene. Pony Island definitely had the the hands on that. That's like a little like a little gold mine back in the day, I think. Word. 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 That shit crazy though. Yeah, man, you heard. Make sure y'all follow me on that Twitter. I started a new Twitter page, man. I gotta step my Twitter game up. You heard, make sure you follow me at Gen Pop Laz. You know what I mean? Send me a tweet. Let me know you rep that gen pop. You feel me? About to start that retweet gang. You heard? Retweet gang in the building. And that's a fact. But yeah, man, Brooklyn Legacy. Coney Island Chronicles, baby. You heard? We going in. I got all type of fire on the way. That's a fact. Z-Man, Suicide Polo with the Ski Man running around the hood like He-Man. You heard, make sure you tune in. Brooklyn Legacy Vibes. You heard, I dropped about five, six new episodes in the last few days, man. Make sure you go check those. You feel me? Make sure you go to that new and recent episode playlist so that you don't miss no episodes at all. You feel me? Because every episode I drop is on that playlist. That's a fact. It's over 200 episodes on there for you to watch just on that playlist alone. 
If you want some promotion on this YouTube channel for your music, for your videos, for your channel, for your brand, whatever it is you're trying to push, hit me up. You heard? If you love what I'm doing on this channel and you feel like I'm feeding the streets that filet mignon, feel free to hit that cash app. You heard?